Welcome back guys to a new hashtag Tottenham Targets and this time it's Max Meyer. If you haven't seen the last one we did on Lamar, then the link is in the description. Go watch that now. But now, you know the drill. It's time to get on to the player profile. Name, Max Meyer. Age, 21. Current club, Schalke. Nationality, German. Footed, right. Position, attacking midfielder. One thing that we can notice is that he only has one year left on his contract at Schalke. Realistically, he's going to be playing in that central attacking midfield role, which is where Deli Alli and Eriksson play most of the time. Sometimes son, not as much. But considering how good Deli Alli and Eriksson have been this past season, I can't really see Max Meyer starting, so he seems to be more of a bench player, maybe super sub kind of person. However, we will do the usual and see where he would fit in our squad if he was to be in the starting 11 for Spurs. Let's go. Right, so if you watched the last one, you know that we're going to start with the 4-2-3-1 formation, which is what we did for most of the season until we adopted the 3-4-3. But let's have a look at the 4-2-3-1 with Max Meyer in the squad. Nothing has changed in the defence as usual. We have Larissa at the back, Rose left back, Vertonghen, Toby, Walker, standard. <clears throat> yeah, now you see, I filmed this before the Walker deal was finalised, so... Please ignore the fact that he's in it for the rest of the formations. Thank you. Then obviously, man like Moussa Dembele and man like Victor Wanyama holding that midfield strong. Now we kind of get onto a similar situation as to the last episode talking about Lamar. Because Max Meyer is an attacking midfielder, he's going to most likely play in that central attacking midfield role. So that means either Deli Ali or Eriksson are going to have to make way for Max Meyer to play in that attacking midfield role. Bearing in mind, yet yeah, this is not what I'm saying Poch is going to be choosing. This is what I'm saying. If we were to put him in the first team, where would he be? So the way I just have it written down now is you'd have Son on the left, you'd have the Max Meyer in the middle, and then most likely Eriksson on the right. Which obviously, I've, I've left out Deli Ali, but obviously in real life that's not going to be the case. You could easily just put Deli Ali on the left, Max Meyer in the middle, Eriksson on the right. So even in fact you could put Ali in the middle, Eriksson on the right, and Max Meyer can play in that attacking left side midfield role. He can kind of play any one of those three, you know what I mean? Now I know a lot of you guys like in the comments for the last episode didn't re really like the fact that I was, I was kind of being too harsh on Sun. So I know you're probably thinking I'm being too harsh on Deli Ali in this case, but I know he is one of our best players. Just hear me out. It's just a hypothetical situation, how he'd fit into the squad and see what would happen. Now we're getting on to the three, four, I, I, I did it too. Three, four, th oh my god, I did it again. Three, four, three formation. That is what we're gonna look at today. So, standard. Luis back, Jan, Toby, Dyer, cool. Dembele, Wanyama, middle, cool. Rose left, Walker right, cool. Now, again, man like Harry Knizzle is up front in that first spot with two players sitting behind him. Now, I have chosen Max Meyer to be that left attacking mid and Deli Alli to be that right attacking mid. So that's how I could kind of see it starting if Eriksson and Son were to be out of form at any point in the league next season. This is going to be the same case for any attacking midfielder that we're linked with. And you could have Meyer and Eriksson as the, the two there. I mean, they're both very creative forward players. Uh, both very small as well. I believe Meyer's five for eight, and I can't imagine Eriksson's much taller than that. So we wouldn't be very good in the air there, whereas Deli Ali's got a bit of height on him. So I think you'd rather opt for like a Deli Ali Meyer combination. So, like last time, we are going to get onto some statistics of the player. So let's have a look at his performance in the 16 17 season in the Bundesliga for Schalke. He has played 27 times for Schalke in the season that's just gone, scoring only one goal and getting three assists. Now he's created 29 chances, which is a stat we look to for an attacking midfield player. With his minutes played being only 1,667, which is quite low considering we said Lamar last time was 2,067 roughly. Now, unfortunately, Schalke did not get the Champions League spot last year. They were in the Europa League. So we'll have a look at his stats there. He played nine times for them, getting one goal and one assist, with the minutes played being 646. Okay, so to be honest, that's, that, those aren't very impressive statistics, especially comparing to what we had Lamar in the last episode. But there has been a lot of high ratings about this player. And to be fair, he is only 21 and he has been selected to play for the, the Germany 
under 21 Euro team. So a better way to look at his stats is to compare him to a very similar player that's already on our squad, like I did last time with Lamar and Son. But this time I'm going to compare him to Ericsson because they're like the same build, same height and the same attacking midfield player. Ericsson in the Premier League has played 36 times for Spurs last season, which is obviously more than Meyer played for Schalke. But Ericsson got a staggering 8 goals and 15 assists, which kind of trumps Meyer's 1 and 3. <laughs> Now, this is a really interesting part. You know, I just said that Maya created 29 chances. Maybe you don't really know how to gauge that, if that's a good number or not. Yeah, Ericsson created 111. That is insane. That is a lot more than Max Meyer, which doesn't quite look good for him, does it? But Ericsson's minutes played worth 3,167. So, you know, almost, I don't know, two and a half times as much as Max Meyer. So it's kind of hard to judge because the game time isn't there. But from that game time that he's had, he's only got, Max Meyer's only got one goal and three assists, which doesn't seem to be as impressive. The only difference this time is that Ericsson has Champions League statistics, but the only issue with that is that we only played in the group stages. So he only played six times. He got no goals, but he did get an assist with the minutes played being around about 451. So what I can gather from these statistics is that Ericsson is quite clearly currently a lot better than Max Meyer and will no doubt start ahead of him, which is a thing I, I from the stats and from what I've like heard and read, that he will definitely, in my opinion, be a sub. He is more of a squad depth kind of player, um, which is kind of good actually, because we, like I said last time, we do need the squad depth. We don't really have that player that can come on and make a difference, which I think Max Meyer can come on and make a difference. He's young, he'll be fresh legs, and he could hopefully get more assists in the Prem. Maybe now that he's surrounded by better players, he'll probably prosper very well. Now we get on to the final segment of the show, which is how much will it cost to get him. So funnily enough, Pochettino was quoted by Schalke 39 million pounds last season when we tried to get him previously, which is a lot considering he's 20 years old at the time. Very interesting news is the fact that he only has one year left on his contract and he has rejected a new deal at Schalke, which means that his value has dropped by half. 17.5 million is what a lot of people are saying that we can get for him, but in my opinion, the price tag that I would stick on him is 20 million. I think 20 million, we should easily be able to secure a contract. And he has expressed that he wants a move to the Premier League. I don't know if that's like a little wink wink at Spurs there to put an offer in, but I think 20 million we can secure him. And to be honest, 20 million for a squad depth player that has a lot of promise playing for a Germany national side, I think a very decent price considering the climate that you need to spend about 50 million to get a, a class player nowadays at least. That's I feel like our main concern. I don't think we're gonna get loads of big names. I think we're gonna get a few squad depth players with more of the academy players coming through, but we do need that one marquee signing. Now I'm gonna give rumors from now on a rating to see how likely they are to happen. So I'm gonna give them a rating out of five and this one I'm gonna give a 4.2. I think it is very, very likely to happen because he has wanted to make a move to the Premier League and Spurs as we already made an inquiry last year and we can get him for more than half the price. I would personally take him for 20 million because that's quite cheap nowadays, but I can't see him starting at all. I think he'll be on the bench for most of the time. Okay, so leave comments down below what you think of Max Meyer, whether you want to take him out of the club. Is 20 million the right price and can you see him joining Spurs? What's your rating out of five? Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and I'll see you in the next episode for Ross Barkley. Peace. Bam!